Hi guys, Frosadamus here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I decided to make a video about graphic settings and for the past few days I tried to see how much we can pull out of an old 12 year old game like uh, World, of War World of Warcraft Vanilla and I managed to reach a point where I'm pretty I'm quite pleased with what I've um, achieved. So I want to share this with you. This is part of the series, uh, a fresh vanilla experience. If you check my channel, I have a video on how to set up an interface like this. Another video on how to improve your models for World of Warcraft uh, vanilla. And uh, the models are for mobs, for mounts and for, for various items. But one thing I want to let you know, if you use the models, make sure you won't get banned because from what I've heard on Elysium, the new realm, they, they won't be allowed. And even if you use them, the anti-cheat software might find them as a hack or something and you might get banned. So use them at your own risk. I do not recommend. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them as well, but this is not about that. This is about going beyond, beyond Ultra with the graphic settings on World of Warcraft Vanilla and trying to resurrect this game uh, make a more appealing look to it and let's let me show you what I came out with so lately I played with uh, the game on max settings everything I had 60 frame constant per second now it's not that but I'll show you why even with full everything I had 60 frame per second then I was still not pleased uh, then I used the developer console I played with a lot of things like I think I used all the commands available on vanilla to to enhance the graphics beyond ultra some of them are like uh, I don't know frill dense density if you see the grass uh, it's more uh, abundant abundant now and I played with spell effect levels with view distance with everything I used most of the settings on max now but I was still not pleased and it was something that was missing and I knew that was an external uh, add-on that I needed so I bruised the internet and I found an add-on called divine a and B. It was developed by a Russian developer and it was originally made for GTA San Andreas but after that people started using it on Diablo and World of Warcraft Vanilla and Special and mostly 32 bits games that are out there. But now to be honest after I installed the add-on I started to see a difference in, in frame drops and my PC it's not that strong so you if you have a good PC it might work better for you but even on the spells it's let me show you look for example at Blizzard now I can see the snowflakes here be not only the comets I didn't see used to see this before it's like it's new for me I always used to see only the comets then I used like uh, flame strike and I never knew the, how big the range for flame strike is only after I use this it's like 10 yards across and if you go here you can see another thing that I noticed it's on arcane explosion if you look closely around here on my unit frames if I cast a arcane, arcane explosion the beam of lights will jump into the corner of the screen so see them they will go up in the corner around here somewhere and I never saw that and first I think I, I thought to myself this is not a big improvement but then I logged into a new client and it was like wow what is this you know it's it's quite different once you set your video settings like this then when you log to another account it will be like wow I'm playing another game so there are a few commands that I will show you how to open the developer console. You go to your World of Warcraft shortcut that it's on the desktop. Uh, open it and s put uh, like this console. 
I'll show you later this, but now let's just focus on how to install this. Uh, let's check around. So without the graphics, you don't see the colors. Look, my right now the divine A and B, it's um, it's on, and the way to turn it off on it's Shift plus F F12. It's uh, Shift plus F. 12 this is the and just take a look around the quality now I turn it off do you see it it's more darker it's uh, lifeless but excuse me but now when I turn it on again everything it's alive it's uh, a vibrant to it it's uh, appealing it's I don't know and I just wanted to show you how to do this. I will. I included a download link in the description with the config settings for all the video settings in World of Warcraft and uh, with uh, the add-on. And I'll show you in a moment how to install it. Just before that, let's explore a bit more if we can see some differences here. Oh yeah, I can see up the mountains in Duskwood from here and I went on the other side as earlier and last night and I saw Westfall like clearly. And let's go to to this house just to ch check how the structures are seen and all of this stuff. Now, I already feel that I'm playing a new game to be honest. Look the pumpkins. Let me check if it's enabled. The pumpkins. The players. I really recommend that you try it yourself and then you give a... And I'm not sure how good this will be seen on YouTube, especially since I don't uh, render my videos anymore because it takes like 4 hours. Now let me talk about the frame per second. I have now 49, 43, 46. I used to keep it at 60 with ultra settings in WoW, but after this the hardware becomes more used. And if you have issues like me, I have a slow PC, it's an AMD 4350 with 8 gigs of RAM and a GTX 970. It's not that good, but with a better PC you can play at 60 frames. If not, you can go to video options and try disable some of the options here, maybe all of them. And your um, graphic, your frames per second might, might improve. Let's check. Do a reload and they're a bit improved or maybe not but still if you have a better PC I'm pretty sure that it even for me I can play like this but I prefer 60 frames so let's show you how to install them now make sure you make a new copy of World of Warcraft Go to this link provided in the description, it's my GitHub account. You click on this download, download the zip file, extract it, whatever you want. I already did in um, D. Now inside this folder you'll find uh, the config. You take it from here, you go in your World of Warcraft folder and WTF and this is the one here. Make sure you make a backup of it in case you're unsatisfied with the results. I will replace it because it's a copy of WoW. I'm not gonna use it. Uh, I'm gonna use it but uh, let me delete this as well. And then you go to Divine A and B. You enter the folder. You copy the content of the folder. You go to your main World of Warcraft folder and you paste this here near the launcher like this do a refresh and then go this is a new copy open now if you see here in the corner NB series GTS and Andres it means that uh, you installed it correctly 
uh, at first thing you log even the lock screen seems more 3d if you compare a normal lock screen with this you can see the improvement from for from the first time you enter the game now i'm gonna log inside and let me show you exactly how you turn it off and turn it on now if you raid a lot and you think that your uh, frame per second are gonna go down here it's the the magic of this while questing and doing now look here while questing and doing uh, other stuff you can use it and just press shift f12 even if you have a bad pc you see the difference the colors everything it's different it's like a new experience and if you raid just turn it off and raid with normal frames let me check uh, frames i have 51 now 50 an average but if i turn it off 60 62 it will be locked at 60 but if you have a better pc like a i5 processor or even a newer i3 or i7 or a newer amd it or a good better graphics card i don't know just try it and see how it works for you and i hope this will uh, improve your experience while playing world of warcraft now wow look at the light look at the grass look at the everything jesus i love this okay guys thanks for watching this i hope this helped you to have a better vanilla experience if you really think this helped you if you like the graphics please come back at the video hit the like button i know i usually don't ask for this in my channel but apparently youtube favors uh, content that it's more engaged if you want to leave a comment, leave a comment, say whatever you like. Even if you hate me, say fucking retard or something. Just leave a comment there. Maybe hit the like button. And thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Until next video. Bye-bye.